Hi everyone, welcome back to the review. Now, slogans have actually existed from for centuries and using them for advertising purposes was not their original purpose. So the word actually derives from a Celtic word that oh. actually mean that it meant battle cry oh, or I war. Think. I think it was war cry. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how they were used. Mm -hmm. So they were commonly used by Irish or Scottish soldiers mm -hmm. to identify it identify each other in the dark or in the thick of battle. In the thick of. This original meaning has really changed in right. the modern era and it's now used by obviously companies, people, politicians, uh, religious leaders to express an idea, um, a marketing a strategy. Mm -hmm. or to manipulate people, unfortunately. So yeah, it's really evolved. Right, now uh, there are three main components to any brand. The first one is obviously the name, then the second one is the logo, and then of course the third one is the slogan. Uh, a slogan, a good slogan, uh, should be clear and concise. Concise. With KFC, you have it's finger licking good, but since finger licking has become problematic in the COVID-19 era, they have changed the slogan by blurring out finger licking to just it's good. <laughs> Not very um, imaginative, right, shall we say, right. um, but it still ticks all the boxes. Tick all the boxes. For you, what is the most famous slogan, if you had to pick one? Uh, I, I suppose it's the ones that first came into my head, so yeah. something like Just Do It by yep. Nike. It's very, very, it's, it's the perfect slogan, it's concise, it, it gives people, you know, motivation, exactly. energy. Yes, it, it, it t really does tick all the boxes. Exactly. What foods uh, make you want to lick your fingers to say that every last morsel <laughs> When you eat them? Uh, oh, it's got to be uh, spare ribs. Oh. So like maybe galbi, something like that. Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you don't really eat galbi with your fingers, do you? But if I have uh, ribs back in the UK or in a place like America, for example, you tend to eat them with your fingers and they really are finger licking good. Yeah. But in Korea, I'm, I'm actually a sucker for fried chicken. It's just not KFC. Right. So other brands, there's a bunch of fried chicken brands out here in Korea. Yeah. And they're definitely uh, the best of the best when it comes to the fried chicken world. Yeah. But yeah, that will do it for our review section and we'll see you in the next unit. Bye-bye.